it would appear a number of people didn't share shared my suspicions about Mr. Webb's narrative of what was going on with the flag at Westminster. Although he's hardly the only person to report on it today, where well, there's been several other um, reports on it uh, portraying it as the end of civilization and Muslim hordes are incoming. In any case, someone saw fit to actually write to Westminster Abbey, and they got this reply from the governance officer, Rachel Reese. Now, Rachel Reese retains a LinkedIn profile, so you can certainly check she's a real person. Westminster Abbey has strong links with the Commonwealth, which we celebrate with a special service held every March, broadcast on BBC One and the World Service. We also welcome the High Commission of Commonwealth Nations to join us in the evening song to mark their national day when we also fight their country's flag. This is an established practice that has taken place for over 50 years. Did Mr Webb really go into any detail on any of that? This year, a representative for the High Commission for Pakistan attended Evensong on Friday 22nd in March in advance of Pakistan Day on Saturday 23rd of March. And as per tradition, the Pakistan National's flag was flowed. Mr Webb touched on it very briefly for about a line or two in his presentation. Now, anyone who has any issues with it can, of course, write to Rachel or to Westminster Abbey. Does this not strike you as showing that Mr. Webb's historical productions and his general output is less than trustworthy at times and often slated towards a particular agenda and often quite nasty agendas? If not, then perhaps you share those agendas is all I can say.